Today I have a Philippines vlog. We're gonna be going to a sneaker store I've never shown you guys before and the store has something really cool about it It's not just like a sneaker store It's also an action figure collectible store as well And if you know me, you know, I'm really really into some collectible figurines I'm actually gonna show you guys my full my full. Oh my god. There goes a pop figure I'm actually gonna show you guys my full pop collection like rapid fire at the end of the video So if you guys want to see what I'm into what I collect uh, Make sure you guys stick around to the end and I'm also announcing the Yeezy giveaway winner for the Citrons We were doing a giveaway uh, This month of November for these right here the Yeezy boost 350 v2 Citrons and uh, yeah So stick around to the end of the video for the winner for this giveaway I also want to give a huge shout out to the latest or newest channel member sage 69 Thank you for becoming a channel member homie if you guys don't know, if you hit that join button down below, you can help support and fund the channel, make it possible for this to be my dream job. It already is my dream job, but you guys will make it even more possible. I can hire editors and stuff like that, and I can have more videos out on a way quicker and consistent basis. So if you guys want to support, that's the way you can. There's some perks as well. We will be doing a huge sneaker sale for the month of December. So I know Sage, Sage 69 is actually a size 14 or 15, so there's nothing for him that he can really take advantage of. but I am size 9.5 to 10.5. I will have a shoe sale in December. And if you're a channel member, you will get first dibs. And if you're on Facebook, add your boy on Facebook at Sneaker Talk CA. Getting back to the main point of this video, the sneaker store we're going to feed your feet Manila. It's just off of one of the main highways in Manila. So it's a pretty good, you know, location to stop by real quick, see what they have available. And they were the homies that actually flew me out for the event Beyond the Culture, which I will have a vlog up very soon this week. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's head over to the store. So stepping inside, the very first thing you guys are going to see is a bunch of sneakers at the front with some art. And it's organized with like the sneakers on the left side. We have a random foreigner here as well. And then on the right side is the toy selection. Now you guys know, if you've been rocking with me on the channel for a while, I love toys, I love collectibles. I have a whole bunch of pop figures. I have Nendroids. I have uh, Gundam figures as well. So I'm a huge fan of this kind of stuff. I even have a bunch of like Hot Wheels and cars too. I'm gonna show you guys some of the collectible toys here in just a moment. But first off, let me show you guys some of the sneakers at the front of the store because they got some heat. Let me just show you guys what we're working with today. We got some dope sneaker art by at Neil Demapilis. And uh, yeah, we got the Yeezy Wave Runners. We got the, the Yeezy 2s right here, the Off-White Chicago's. These, pretty cool. This would make for like a nice little housewarming gift, you know, I could see this being like art I put in my washroom. Right now, the art in my washroom in my house is like a bunch of cows. So I think this would be a bit better than that. They have a bunch of Nike basketball here too. So we got some LeBron 16s. LeBron six hey Tom, you're the LeBron guy. Are these 16s? I believe so, yes. We got some LeBron 16s right here. We got the uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants collection here too. We got the Squidwards. Never liked this clarinet playing anyways. We got the, I think these are the Patricks. We also got the SpongeBob's. And yesterday, or the other day, we went to a fake marketplace and they never made one for Sandy the Squirrel, but we saw fake ones for Sandy the Squirrel. Well, they Pretty made lit. one, just not in the Philippines. Oh, it okay. exists. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Tom, for the knowledge. No problem. So these right here are some of the best pairs, in my opinion, at Feed Your Feet Manila. We got the Royalty Jordan 4s right here. And so many people loved and hated my review because I made a little joke about them being trash and had my sister talk about them being trash. But I like the shoe. So people were like clicking the video, hitting dislike because they saw the thumbnail and title and don't even realize I really like the shoe. But this was a really, really good Air Jordan 4. Definitely underrated. I just wish they used like metal or something, not plastic for this uh, little little gold pieces right here would have been a nice premium touch but they have these and these are a size let me see a size 9.5 and these are going for uh going for 11,500 pesos we have a oh my gosh guys these these are the shoes i might just have to buy today these are the shoes that got me into jordan brands the air jordan for toros we haven't seen a retro for these ever since they've come out and uh, these are easily one of the best non-og jordans to ever drop the Black, the gray, the red. They don't make too many sneakers with a really dope colorway like this that's really clean. A lot of weird stuff they're pumping out. And these are size 10. These are my size. So I'm super, super tempted right now. And these are going for 16,950 pesos. So it's a little bit up there. They are used though. And I know new ones go for a ton of money. And some more size 10 action. We got the alternate motorsports. I got these from Champ Sports a long, long time ago. Definitely one of the better new Jordan 4 colorways they dropped. And these are on sale here for 10,000 pesos. We got the laser fours right here. Not too big of a fan of 
these and these actually ended up on sale at a lot of retailers in Canada. But these right here, Green Glow Forest, criminally underrated, really nice pair. Let me see what size these are, size, size 10. Oh my gosh, they, they're tempting me out here, man. More size 10 Jordan 4 heats and these are going for 12,500 pesos. With that said, let me know what you guys think is the better Jordan 4 with the poll at the top right hand corner of the screen right now. Do you guys like the Toro Jordan 4s or do you guys like the Green Glows? For me, I gotta go with the Toros just cause you know the history I have with it. I was it was too broke cause they dropped the day before my birthday so I had no birthday money to buy them and uh, I just love red Jordans. So it beats these but still, still fire in my opinion. We got a bunch of these Element React 87s, all the translucent ones. I know these definitely have lost a lot of traction in terms of like hype since they originally came out but they're still a pretty solid shoe. I've never actually owned a pair. I do have a pair of 55s back at home though. I'm gonna get back to the shoes in a second but check these out. They have like the these Game Boy Color looking Supreme toys. It looks like you can play like Tetris on them or something. That has Mario on the side there too with the TV out. Wait, what? You can plug this into a TV? Okay, that'd be pretty cool. Now, one thing that was really surprising to me in the Philippines is that Puma RSXs actually have resale value. So, these ones I understand. These ones have resale value internationally, but like other colorways, like the trophy pack that they did, they have the white and silver ones here. They also have the black and gold ones. These resell for a good amount. I think retail in Canada was like 140 or 150 Canadian plus tax. And I've seen these resell in the Philippines for 220 to $230 Canadian plus tax. With that said, this black and gold pair here is basically going for 10,000 pesos. And then the white and uh, the white and silver pair here is also going for 10,000 pesos. What about the OGs? The OGs, I'm curious. These are going for 11,500. So yeah, these are probably one of the best colorways. I know a lot of people are still upset that Puma did not restock these because you just can't find them anywhere. Now, a few pairs that definitely have gone up in resale value since they've come out were the Dragon Ball sneakers or Dragon Ball Z sneakers. I was in Japan when a bunch of them were there. I saw the Vegeta sitting, I saw the Goku sitting, and now they're going for like triple to four times retail. But they have a couple pairs here, so I wanna show you guys those. And I'll probably show you guys a bunch of the uh, the collectible figurines right after. So let me show you guys the Dragon Ball Z shoes. We got the Goku ZX 500s. Look at that insole. That is dope. That is dope. I know Carlo has the full collection with all the special boxes. These are going for 15,000 pesos. I really like these and I feel like this is one of those shoes that if you were to beat them up, it just makes a lot of sense because you know Goku goes through a lot of training and he gets his, uh, his he gets his gear tattered up. So if you tattered these up, distress them a bit, it makes sense, you know? They also got these right here, the Derupts. Not really a fan of this colorway. Not really a fan of uh, a lot of the colorways they dropped. I think I like the OG one mainly the most. And then they also have these right here, this white and purple pair. I think this is the Frieza colorway. Please correct me if I'm wrong. This is a pretty solid pair, you know, but it's not too often I really wear purple. So it's harder to match this with my outfits. Checking out the Dragon Ball Z pop figures. We have a Gohan with a training outfit here for 720 pesos. Man, this brings me back some memories. Oh my gosh, nostalgia's hitting me. We got Goku Black from Dragon Ball Super. And then we also got this special edition one right here, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Dragon Ball Z for 1100 pesos. This one's dope. This one is dope. Now, I don't know about you, but when pop figures first started coming out, I wasn't interested in them. There was like a couple of ones that caught my, you know, like eye, but I was like not trying to collect anything new. But eventually they were just releasing collaborations basically with, with like brands and companies and characters from my childhood where you just see it and you get this nostalgic feeling and you're like, you just wanna buy it just cause like it reminds you of a piece of your childhood, a more simpler, easier time, not as stressful. So like I'm seeing a bunch of these here that are really, really tempting me. Another show I really watched a lot of growing up and I would get like VHS tape rentals with Scooby-Doo. Check this out, they got both Shaggy and Scooby-Doo right here. Oh my gosh, Scooby-Doo was probably one of my favorite shows growing up. I also like to watch a lot of Power Rangers, Powerpuff Girls, amongst the other few, but you know, Pokemon, Digimon, all that typical stuff I also was into, but, but Scooby-Doo, definitely one of my favorite shows. So yeah, before I show you guys some more sneakers and some more pop figures, I just wanna know in the comment section down below, if you guys collect anything besides sneakers, 
comment what you collect. I would love to see what you guys collect. If it's like pop figures too, if it's Gundams, maybe you collect car figures. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys and interact with you down there. And if it is pop figures by any chance, let me know the very first pop figure you ended up caving and buying. And if you have a collection of them or if you just have like one or two. Because I, I wanted to just keep one or two and now I have an unintentional pop figure collection of about, I want to say 12 or 15, but it's nothing compared to Carlos. He has like every single Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z one, it's insane. I think he has at least like 100, or not 100, I think he has at least 50, but he has one pop figure that is worth 3,000 US dollars. That's more than like most really hyped up sneakers, which is insane. So anyways, I'll show you guys some sneakers, then some more pop figures, and some more collectibles. So let's head over to some of the Jordans right now. So here are a majority of the Air Jordans that they do have. It's all organized by numbers to keep it very, you know, simple. If you know what you're looking for, it's easier to find. So we got the 11s on the bottom, got a few colorways here. They also got the ones, these low top Chicago ones. Tom has actually been wearing his pair while here and you don't really see these too often. And it's cool to see that they have like pretty much a, a brand new pair. I'm pretty sure these are brand new um, considering these are such an older release. And now that low top Jordan ones are sort of making a comeback which is very interesting so these are size 9.5 i think i could definitely squeeze into these but uh i would much rather wear my high tops i have back at home this is one colorway i haven't seen before it's basically that storm blue jordan one high but in a low top version so if you took it on the high tops the low tops is a pretty good alternative and uh, these are actually going for 7,500 pesos so not that bad and i actually haven't seen this colorway anywhere else in the world but here right now now this pair is definitely Definitely one of the most popular ones at the moment. These are the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1 Lows. I've seen these in a few different stores and uh, a lot of people are really enjoying these because it is a great budget alternative to the high tops. The price for these ones are 7,950 pesos. Out of all the Jordan 1 Lows, I think these ones are in my opinion the best they did, the black toes. And uh, these are actually going for 7,950 pesos. I bought I think three or four pairs in total of these. We gave away one. I sold two for retail at SneakerCon and I have my one personal pair I'm still rocking love these shoes let me know if you guys like these at the pole in the top right are these a cop or a drop hit that pole right now taking a look at the mid tops it doesn't really look like they have any high tops besides the one obsidian which I'll show you guys in a second oh they actually have two high tops but they have these shatter backboard mids so I just wanted to show you guys these these are going for 10k pesos they got the obsidians right here the high tops I took an L on these I didn't even try buying these to be honest so I never really took an L but I regret not trying to buy them they have kid sizes here and then they also have the uh the gym reds these are sitting everywhere definitely one of the most underrated Jordan releases of the year now in terms of heat this is probably one of the best Jordans they have in the store and best sneakers they have in the store these just came out the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott these are so 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 nice I saw a few people wear these at the uh, the event this weekend at beyond the culture and uh, yeah these are going for 70k pesos so it's definitely up there probably one of the more expensive retro Jordans to drop this year but I think the hype is well warranted for these sneakers especially because they did such a great job on these and the colorway is perfect for fall so uh, hopefully we'll get one of these one day and this uh, little side pocket here always intrigues me and the last Jordan one I'm going to show you guys are these mid top Gucci's I'm actually I actually never saw these before until coming to the store and I see a lot of Jordan ones in my days guys so these are really cool the quality actually is pretty nice definitely better than the recent Jordan one mids that have come out it's like a mixture of this sort of pebbled leather with smooth leather on the side red and green bobs with the red laces as well you might want to lace swap that with black or green if you want to we've got the green not the green we have the red jump man on the back and yeah just definitely a nice switch up from all the other mids out there these are going for 28,000 pesos so it's a bit up there for a mid top but it's definitely a very very unique one well 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 what do we have here it's like a heat cabinet right here oh my gosh all right let's start off from the bottom work our way to the top like drake we got the sakai blazers right here these blazers oh my gosh these sakai blazers are insane lead nice whites clean perfect for the summer perfect for the spring what the heck that the back looks like they have five outsoles slapped on top of each other that's that's some heavy duty stuff right there is it gonna last a long long time besides those they got the waffles here too but yeah it looks like they have pretty much all of the waffle colorways here all hanging out with big bird and cookie monster shout out to big bird he was probably one of my favorites 
horse besides Elmo because I could tickle him. We got the Yeezys right here in a few different colorways. We got the Fila Disruptors. These are like super, super popular. It's so popular in fact in the Philippines that they sell fakes of them in Green Hills, which is pretty insane. Next up is the Adidas Heat Cabinet right here. And I gotta say, the prices on these shoes are insane. So these are going for 20,000 pesos. That's about $511 if I got the conversions right. These are slightly worn. But yo, for $500 Canadian, that's a really damn good price considering how much new ones go for. We also got some 40 shoes in here too. The Kiths. Now, these were one of the most expensive 40 sneakers they ever released. I don't know why they priced them so, so ridiculously high. But besides that, they have the ZX4000 4D in that sort of uh, neon green. Not, not neon green. I want to say grass stained green. You know, when you mow your lawn and this is the shade that your white shoes become. They got those. Shout out to Adidas. They gave me these ones. But... I'm wearing the ZX4000 in the OG colorway. How much are these going for? Going for 25,000, so that's that's more expensive than these. Maybe I can bring my pair of these in and trade them in. And of course, you can't have a sneaker consignment store without a Yeezy cabinet. So they have a whole bunch of them here. I really don't know the name of these ones. Tom, what are these called? They're like a um, pinkish a one? Um, they're Asia exclusive. I can... you, you actually put your mouth on that. I felt no, that. No, what did it taste like? Like Asia. Like Asia? We're in Asia. Three, no, 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 no. More, two, more, 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 one. Oh, what? The, the Synths. The Synths? Asia exclusive Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Synth. Okay. That explains why I haven't seen them anywhere. Where did you get your pair? My friend. In, in Asia or? Asian girlfriend. Oh, your Asian girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> okay. One of them. <laughs> One of them. The one you got the Gucci bag for, right? Yes, exactly. That makes sense. Yeezy giveaway time. I'll be announcing the winner for these Yeezys in just a second, but quickly because we were in a store that did sell pop figures. So I want to show you guys my pop collection very quickly. We'll start off with some of the Filipino pop figures. We have the Jollibee pop figure. This was gifted to me from the homie Carlo in Manila, Philippines. Thank you, Carlo, so much for this. And I also so was gifted this at the sneaker convention beyond the culture this is a new Jollibee pop figure and one thing you'll notice is that some of my figures will be in boxes and some of them will be outside of the box I threw away the boxes for a bunch of them I don't really care about keeping them in the boxes but for more high value ones like these I'll try and keep them in the boxes next up my two most recent pop figure pickups are these we have the apex legends wraith figurine I recently picked this up in California and uh, I stream apex legends on twitch follow your boy on twitch Twitch.tv slash sneakertalkca. Wraith is one of my better characters. And Bloodhound is probably my main besides Pathfinder. I couldn't find Pathfinder. He was sold out. But I bought these two, Wraith and Bloodhound. If you guys play Apex Legends, let me know. It's free. So I'm sure some of you guys do play Apex Legends. Next up, we'll keep the trend of video game pop figures going. I was recently, not recently, but two years ago, I think, I was at the Overwatch uh, Grand Finals in Brooklyn, New York. And so I picked up two uh, figures from there. It was a bundle. So we got the the junk rat pop figure right here and it came in a set with the roadhog as well as you guys know these are the junker town brethren so we got these two limited edition pop figures right here and my three other pop figures from the overwatch universe are these we got tracer of course the uh the basically uh, the mascot of overwatch i absolutely love tracer she was my first main then i realized i was bad with her and i switched to other characters then we got anna anna is definitely my main in overwatch i am a support main and then lastly we have reaper here are the other ones we got claptrap for borderlands right here i have a blue special one this was a eb games or gamestop exclusive and then i also have mad moxie as well i loved her dlc from borderlands one moving on to gears of war we have a typical locust bad guy grunt right here and then we also have cats as well and my final three pop figures are from tv shows we got daryl from the walking dead i completely forget his name right now but we have the dog guy from adventure Time. And we have an injured blue eyes white dragon. I dropped him one time. His foot is like falling off. I probably should get some super glue. And I actually bought this from my childhood card store. So. Yeah, they're still in business. That's pretty cool. So there you have it. That's my pop collection. I figured this would be the best time to show you guys my collection since I'm not like a pop or action figure channel. So if you guys like my collection, please smash that thumbs up button down below. And if you do collect pop figures, let me know in the top right hand corner if you do yes or no. And uh, Yeezy giveaway time. Congratulations to the winner on screen right now. Make sure you DM me within one week to claim this pair. If it goes unclaimed, we're gonna have to do another giveaway for these. So stay tuned. Maybe 
but they don't claim them. We've had some times where that has happened and I feel really bad about it. Hopefully they claim them. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I have a Japan trip coming up very, very soon. We're going to Osaka with my friend Carlo and a couple other Filipino sneaker YouTubers. And boy, does that feel good to be back on the YouTube grind. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.